I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. In this video, I'll be discussing how to manage lint and locks. Now this is a topic that a lot of us need and it's something that we hate to deal with. It's the bane of our existence. If you have locks, then you know what I mean. Now the first step, in my opinion, to really assess and manage your lint is to figure out if what you're experiencing is truly lint. Very often, people confuse product buildup for lint when they're two totally separate things, but they can appear the same sometimes in our locks. Now, the way that you can figure out if you are really dealing with product buildup is to use clarifying shampoo during your washes regularly and use deep cleaning methods such as the apple cider vinegar rinse and the controversial dish soap rinse, which I'll talk about more in another video. Now, once you've clarified your locks and you are certain that you're not dealing with product buildup, now you have lint, you're, you've confirmed it. And there are a few ways that you can manage at this point. Now, depending on the size of the lint buildup and how much of it, it'll determine the next steps. If you have minimal lint, you can use things like tweezers, if you have nails like mine, you can use your nails, although using tweezers and using your nails, you are running the risk of breaking strands. So that is, if that's a risk you wanna take, go for it by all means. But you can also dye your hair or rinse your hair. That will cover lint. Again, if you have product buildup and you attempt to dye your hair, you'll still see the product build up because you can't color product build up. It's not gonna take the color. But if it's truly lint, it'll take the color. There are all types of dyes you can use if you want a natural alternative, there's henna. But I personally, I like to use natural ingredients in my hair for the most part. But when it comes to dye, I don't care that much personally. And I'll use whatever is on sale. Now, if your lint is minimal, then you may not wanna opt for dyeing your hair, you may want to opt for using a Sharpie. Now this idea came to my inbox on my DMs from a follower of mine a while ago, shout out to you who wrote me this. But if, you're, if your lint is minimal and you can see the individual spots, you can get a, a Sharpie that matches your hair color and color it in. And that's gonna be a lot less damaging than dyeing your whole head of hair. Right? Of course, you can also use the dye for spot treatment as well if you would prefer that method. So you can use dyes or semi-permanent colors for spot treatments, just like you can use a Sharpie. Now, as my mama always says, prevention is better than cure. So make sure you are taking care of your locks so that you don't have to deal with lint and you don't have to worry about fixing it. You know what I mean? My favorite and most recommended way to handle lint, to avoid it from embedding into your locks, is to brush your locks. When you brush your locks with a boar bristle brush, you are getting rid of any lint that has just landed on the surface of your hair. And it's really important that you brush your hair before you wash your locks, because when you wash your locks, that is when the lint gets embedded into your hair. You could also use a lint roller. Depending on, depending on what type of lint you have, I notice lint rollers work better. For instance, if you're wearing a more feathery sweater, a lint roller is more effective than a boar bristle brush. But if you are wearing a woolly sweater, the boar bristle brush will be more effective at getting the lint out than the lint roller. And that is it. If you have any further questions, make sure you drop them down below and I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. Hope this was very helpful. If it was helpful, let me know and thumbs this video up. Make sure you're subscribed. Please share this video and help another locked head. Definitely check out KeishaCharmaine.com for your lock accessories, your lock products, and more. Follow me on Instagram at KeishaCharmaine. Thank you so much for watching. Love, light, and locks.